All right, folks, in the news today, it looks like the FBI, through uh, DNA, has gone ahead and identified the person who committed the Nashville bombing. And his name is Anthony Quinn Warner, and he's a longtime Nashville resident. And he's 63, he was 63 years old, is a freelance computer technician for a local realty company. And uh, early this month, suddenly, after four years of working there, he went ahead and resigned, and then he transferred a couple of homes to a gal out in California, and property records list him as being unmarried, not being a registered voter, and doesn't show that he's ever voted in any election at all. So, all the right-wing conspiracy theory theorists people who thought that it was going to be Antifa or BLM for whatever reason, even though Trump lost, you wouldn't think that the left wing would be setting off bombs, but then again, who knows? And then all the theories that made a lot more sense to me would have been right-wing uh, people who were upset about Trump losing, and then this was going to go ahead and be the opening salvo in terms of that, so we can expect more to come, because, you know, like someone posted, you know, what do you expect when you suppress, you know, 70-some million votes and, you know, stealing votes and this and that. So a lot of people were, were conflating this particular act um, with conspiratorial ideas that everybody has based on their own worldview. And it looks like it was just a lonely guy, you know, somewhat elderly, and he just decided to check out. Now, what is interesting is he placed his bomb inside the camper right in front of the AT&T building, which being an information technology, he would have known that that AT&T building was home for uh, information technology as well as communication infrastructure. So I think he was trying to do some damage, and that was more the message he was trying to send. I have a feeling he wasn't a very happy person working in IT, and he kind of wanted to do some damage to that particular section of the economy. Uh, on his way out. And he also went ahead and transferred these two properties to this gal out in California, Michelle L. Swing of Los Angeles, although she denies uh, knowing about the second transfer, but at least the first transfer, she doesn't seem to be denying that. So it looks like he was just trying to get that stuff, you know, un unburdening himself, and then he didn't want to hurt anybody. You know, if this were, you know, a, a typical terrorist attack, he would have tried to do it with maximum damage, you know, at a time when it was really busy and, you know, there could have been dozens of people dead. Now imagine if there was no COVID. If there was no COVID, downtown Nashville at a really busy time, I've been downtown Nashville a couple of times and it's really busy over there, people. He could have done this at some really busy time and there could have been dozens of people dead and hundreds of people injured without question. But he did it at a time when nobody was going to be there and he gave fair warning and apparently it looks like, you know, there were a couple of people injured, but he's the only one who died and that looks like what he wanted. So at this point, I don't see any evidence that uh, Anthony Quinn Warner was either a lefty or a righty, whether he was a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter or anything in the middle or any of that stuff. People, it was just somebody who wanted to check out and this was his way of doing it. So uh, only time will tell now that, the, uh, now that they know who the person is. I'm sure the FBI and the local authorities, they're going to be invest they're going to be, they're going to be interviewing all his, you know, all his friends, family, uh, co-workers, anything that he would have been doing. They had to go ahead and find if he had belonged to any clubs or anything like that. And they're going to go ahead and try to find out everything. And, and, and in the days and weeks to come, it'll be pieced together why this guy did what he did. But for now, it just seemed like he was a random guy who wanted to check out. Uh, peace out.